I welcome you all to Divine Race YouTube channel. I am Jesslyn Justin. Today, I am going to talk about five facts about the great Saint Monica that will inspire you to never give up hope in your life. The Catholic Church celebrates the feast of Saint Monica on August 27. She is the mother of Rock of the Church Saint Augustine of Hippo and is particularly known for her perseverance in prayer. Here are some facts about this incredible saint which will surely inspire your faith in God's omnipotent power. First, St. Monica's example converted her husband and mother-in-law. Even though this 4th century saint was a Christian, her parents gave her away to a man named Patricius. Both he and his mother were pagans with violent tempers. St. Monica endured this with patience and kindness. And her example eventually led to their conversion to Christianity. Second, she prayed for St. Augustine for 17 years before his conversion. St. Monica is most known for her perseverance in prayer. Her son, St. Augustine of Hippo, lived a life of immorality, most notably that of lust and impurity, before converting to Catholicism. Throughout these years, she endured tremendous suffering. Augustine rejected her on multiple accounts, but she continued to love, pray, and nurture her son throughout his favored time. Third, she felt discouraged but never gave up. St. Monica cried many times over her son's transgressions but received affirmation from God on several accounts. St. Monica had a dream of herself weeping over her son and a figure told her that he was still with her. In his autobiography, The Confessions of St. Augustine, St. Augustine wrote that it was my soul's doom she was lamenting. The figure told St. Monica to have peace and see that where she was, there I was also. St. Monica also received encouragement from a local bishop who told her that God's time will come. He added, Go now, I beg you. It is not possible that the son of so many tears should perish. Fourth, she knew her purpose in life. St. Monica wept, prayed, and sacrificed for her son for many years. Her greatest desire in life was to see her son's conversion to Catholicism. And once this happened, she believed she fulfilled her purpose. She said to Augustine just a few days before she contracted the fever which resulted in her death, My son, speaking of myself, nothing earthly delights me any longer. I do not know why I am still here or why I should remain here. I have no further earthly desires. Fifth, she is a patron saint of wives, mothers, conversions, alcoholics and abuse victims. Especially in a time when conversion is needed in our world, St. Monica is a great example of faith and hope. God's grace is infinite and He will never abandon us. Let us look to St. Monica's example of perseverance, understanding that God will never abandon us, even in the hardest times. Let's pray together to St. Monica. Dear St. Monica, troubled wife and mother, many sorrows pierced your heart during your lifetime, yet you never despaired or lost faith. With confidence, persistence, and profound faith, you prayed daily for the conversion of your beloved husband, Patricius, and your beloved son, Augustine. Your prayers were answered. Grant me that same fortitude, patience, and trust in the Lord. Intercede for me, dear Saint Monica, that God may favorably hear my plea, and grant me the grace to accept His will in all things, through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for watching and learning for your life. Stay connected with us by pressing the bell icon to receive notification for every new video we upload. Please don't forget to like and give a comment to encourage us. Thank you and God's blessings.